Hey everybody, just a quick video here on this head unit. I want to give you some feedback. At the moment, the video is initially for the supplier. Um, let's see what they do. Basically, this is the complaints video. So overall, the unit's pretty good, but it's got a few problems. And I'm going to run through some of the things that I'm not 100% happy with or that I think are problems for them. And then uh, we'll see if this one goes public or not. Um, so this was purchased from eBay, about 160 bucks, ballpark, somewhere around there. Before I purchased it, I sent photos of the dashboard with the other fate, the standard trims and everything, and I said, hey, will this unit fit? Because they've got that many photos and their ads, these eBay sellers, you wouldn't know what you're actually getting. So that's what I do. I sent the photo. They replied saying, yes, it will fit. Because I wanted to avoid the problem of the whole returning stuff and all that, you know, it's a pain in the butt. They said it'll fit anyway it turned up it's this big flat screen obviously it's not going to fit so i messaged them they said no it won't fit same photo but anyway that aside thanks for wasting the time initially but um then they offered uh some trims and asked me to pay 30 dollars. and i'm like no like you know i don't want to be paying more money i don't actually know if it's going to work and how reliable it's going to be because a lot of people have had bad experiences with ebay cheap purchases right this is the problem the people that have the problems and this has got problems as well so as good as it is but it's got problems so moving on to the insta so they sent the trims no charge so reasonable customer service they were fairly apologetic sorry about this sorry about that and they want to help so that's good um so then eventually i got around to having a crack at installing this and what happens is because the original trim it's one piece goes all the way down so you need to have this sort of split here if you like um well actually this is one piece the head units mounted in and there's a trim fascia there's two different ones that come in the kit the one for the climate control like this or the one for the round knobs so they've got it covered either way a um, bit of time to install it um the the metal brackets that mount the clock the radio and the climate control and hold it all together at the side they don't use those so it's all just hanging off the plastic trims which may or may not be okay we'll get to that later in the video I'm not entirely happy with that, but I'm giving it a go. Remembering this is a four-wheel drive. It's not like it goes on any rough tracks, four-wheel drive tracks, and gets banged around or anything like that, is it? Well, actually, it is. Exactly. And that's a problem. So if you're on-road only, this would probably be fine. Off-road as well, not too sure yet. Now, let's move towards some of the problems. One of the problems. Now, what I want to do is turn the radio. We've got the radio tuned in. So you can hear that's the radio. There's radio there. Right, eight o'clock bit of traffic. Then here it says music, press to play. Now I've got a USB. Okay, so this time it worked, okay? Um, I've got a USB stick plugged in because uh, it comes with all the wires, GPS, USB, all that. Everything's plugged in properly. But last time I did that, I pressed music. It kept playing the radio as well, so that's a bit odd. So let's go back to the radio. Let's try that again. Okay, so... Okay, this time it's working and that's good. But what happened previously... Okay, so let me explain what happened since it's not doing it now. Um, turn it down. Right, so what happened last time, just to be clear, since we're doing the video, the radio was on. And when I hit that, it played both. It had the radio and the USB, so not too sure what was going on there. Maybe I'll hit this button. Let's try again. Let's go radio one more time. Maybe it was. No, look, it's definitely working now. The phone, the phone call works. It's a bit unclear. It's a bit glitchy. I haven't installed a separate microphone because I wanted to test out this one that's built in first. It seems to be working fine. Um, but my receive, the receive end is. Not good, as in, you know, uh, blah, 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 a little bit broken up. But look, I can deal with it, but it's not great. It's not how it should be. It's not as clear as a phone call. It's a bit glitchy. 
Um, the, the maps and everything works well. Um, what was one of the other problems? One of the other problems is when you, so your radio, for example, or your music, a good volume might be 15. But then when you take a phone call to hear the person on the other end, you need to turn it up to about 30 or 40, which is heaps louder than you can hear them. Then you end the phone call and of course your radio is blaring. So I haven't worked out how to, if there's a setting where I can adjust so the phone call level's higher. And I have gone into some settings, so I'm not a complete dummy. I'm trying to work out where they are now though. Car setting, hang on. Let me do that again, car setting. And then we go down here to volume settings. I went in and played around with this one. Um, that didn't do anything, so let me know. Um, turn, ticking that and unticking that didn't make any difference either. So I'm just showing you what I know so far. Okay, the next problem was, um, I need the car running for this one, so we'll start it up. You can see the climate control here. So this trim, is, this trim and this trim is aftermarket. I believe this trim should be supplied with this clear plastic. I had to pull that off the original trim and stick it on there. So that was a bit of a pain and it does make it harder to reverse everything, okay? So um, the Apple CarPlay connects automatically, so that's really good. That that does work well, the maps works well. I've got new, no issues with any of that. The CarPlay side of it works really well. You can see over here, dual, yep, aircon, modes, yep, fan speed buttons, yep. Then we get over here, recirculate, yep. And then we get over here, I want to turn the, turn the, I've got to really, push it hard which is okay and it might loosen up over time but I've got to push that really hard to get it to work and at the start it wouldn't work and then sometimes it gets jammed there like that so that's what the temperature does when it gets jammed then I've got to come over here and start pressing it like that now perhaps it's loosening up but I've got to ram it pretty hard and I'm not sure if that's going to do damage to this button over time so this trim at this side needs an extra millimetre clearance in the manufacturing. Okay, now one of the other issues, since we're having a complain now, if it might be hard to see at the moment, but this trim here, it's wavy. It's out there, it's in there, it's out there, it's in there. So not the best on the quality on the trim either. And the other part is, see the side, this is meant to sit flush like at the top, but see it comes out and you can see the lines of this trim and some of the gaps of the plastic that's actually meant to be, you know, it won't, you can't sort of push it in because this just pushes in with it. And if I grab this whole thing, I can sort of move it up and down a lot. I'm not gonna sort of mess with it too much because it's all just held by the plastic trims. Literally that is screwed to the trim. Um, then there's two clips on that pushing that in and there's two clips at the bottom, just locating clips. Nothing else really holds it there. So it's kind of just sitting there and then you put your air convent trims over the top of these side bits, which is okay. I mean, look, it's not bad, but when I'm not holding a phone, I get to it, I can move it around quite a bit. Now, it'll probably might be okay, but I don't know that. I mean, see this movement? You know, there's a bit of movement there. I'm not pushing it too hard. I only got one hand and I don't wanna, you know, damage it, whatever. But um, yeah, anyway, whatever. Uh, these trims should just sit flatter at the sides there but look I'm complaining now aren't I now that's what I can think of at the moment um, this is one of the bigger concerns the rough trim I can deal with these edges I can deal with but my point is when you purchase a product it should be right why should I have to deal with this and then you've got the whole question mark on the software and how long is it going to last so now that it's in I'm leaving it in there I'm going to test it that sort of thing but I feel like I've paid full price for something that I haven't got the full product because I've got buttons sticking, trims hanging out, it's not secured, the metal brackets aren't there, there's a wiring loom that bolts on down underneath here behind there that comes up where the wires, and it's normally mounted onto the side of that bracket, so now that whole wiring loom is just sort of hanging there, it's not the best. All this would need is to have the metal brackets correct, a little bit better on the quality here, make that a little bit wider there, Anyway, you wanted a video, there it is. Bada bing, bada boom.